we're asked to represent the following function on the coordinate plane. And they give us domain, and then they give us a range, a set of, a set of values that our function can take on. And the way the question has been phrased, I'm assuming they assume, they're, they're making us assume that the, the negative 8 maps to the 4, the negative 6 maps to the 3, the negative 4 maps to the 2, the negative 2 maps to 1, and the 0 maps to 0. Because you could have another function with this exact same domain and this exact same range where the mapping is different, where negative 8 maps to 3 and negative 6 maps to 4. So you could actually, this domain and this range could be for many different functions. But when they say represent the following function, I'm assuming that they're just assuming, that they want us to assume that they're kind of in order, the pairing. So let's just graph this function or represent it using their terminology. So let me draw some axes here. So this is the domain, the independent variable, just like that, often known as the x-axis or the horizontal axis. And all of our domain, all the values, these are all non-positive numbers. So let me give a lot more space to quadrant 2. All of our range are positive numbers. So we're going to be hanging out in the top left quadrant, or quadrant 2, just like that. And the values that my domain can take on are 0 through negative 8 and every even uh, negative number. So it's 0. Let me do it like this. So 0 is there. And then we have negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, and then we have negative 8, just like that. And then our range goes from 0 through 4. So this is 0, then you have 1, then you have 2, then you have 3, and then you have 4. So if we assume the mapping that if, we, if, this, if you give this function a negative 8, it's going to map to 4, then we can plot it here. So if we take this first pair right there, you give me a negative 8, this function is going to give me a 4. So negative 8, 4 is that point right there. So if you imagine that this is x, the x-axis, this would be the f of x axis, if we're assuming that f is this function. You give me a negative 6, I'll give you a 3, negative 6 and 3. You give me a negative 4. This function will pop out a 2, negative 4, comma 2. And then you give a negative 2, this function will pop out a 1. f of negative 2 is 1. f of negative 2 is 1. And then finally, f of 0 is 0. So we'll just plot it right there. So that's the function. I've represented it. And remember, this is, I just assume that negative 8 maps to 4, negative 6 maps to 3. But you could have multiple functions that have this domain and range. But just the way that they said the following function, I'm assuming this is what they want us to do.